you have to be on the right platform. And I think there are two platforms. You know, one obviously is academia. Uh, the second though, is if you are in a very large tech firm, point is, is that you can see patterns and issues at scale. So when I was at Cognizant, I remember distinctly just spending time with clients on their particular challenges. Next up on Everything Thought Leadership is Malcolm Frank. Malcolm is considered among the foremost strategists and visionaries in the technology services space. I met Malcolm back in the mid-1990s at the dawn of the client-server computing era. He was a senior vice president and client-server systems integration firm Cambridge Technology Partners. We joined forces to publish a special magazine that showcased the best case examples of client-server computing as the technology moved from departmental sideline to corporate mainstream. A few years later, we were reunited at Cognizant. Malcolm was running strategy and marketing, and he hired me to build and lead the company's thought leadership program. And we made beautiful thought leadership music. Malcolm provided the vision, funding, and senior level support needed to build a world-class thought leadership program. In fact, his move to establish a think tank, the Cognizant Center for the Future of Work, was instrumental in supercharging the company's brand and high growth revenue trajectory which reached over 30% year over year in his halcyon days. When it comes to thought leadership, Malcolm practices what he preaches. That hit home when I supported Malcolm in his work with technology marketing guru, Jeffrey Moore in 2010 on a seminal report that chronicled the rise of the future of work. Malcolm co-authored two best-selling books with the CFOWs Ben Pring and Paul Rohrig on the rise of artificial intelligence. First was called Code Halos, which was among the first published works to thoroughly dissect the socioeconomic implications of the digital trails that envelop us all, from our devices through our personal presence online and beyond. The second book, When Machines Do Everything, shown a beacon on the growing impact artificial intelligence would soon have on our lives and livelihoods. When Malcolm left Cognizant in 2021, the firm's run rate was $16 billion plus a far cry from the not quite $1 billion company he joined in 2005. Today, Malcolm is channeling his entrepreneurial spirit. He's co-founder and chief executive officer of Talent Genius, a startup provider of tools and community services that help technology professionals manage their careers in the AI era. In this episode, Malcolm and I will discuss the evolution of the thought leadership profession, the role of thought leadership in new and established B2B organizations, what it takes to build a high-powered thought leadership program and the obstacles that must be circumvented. Why tech companies, tech services firms in particular, struggle to create and benefit from thought leadership and advice for budding thought leaders and their organizations. 